good morning children today we are going to discuss about the main sources of air pollution what we are going to discuss the main sources of air pollution before what we discussed how the pollution will be affect uh, human beings okay what is pollution what are the pollutants what are the uh, degradable pollutants and the non degradable pollutants okay and uh, rapidly degradable slowly degradable and what is the reason for the air pollution what are the air pollutants like that particulate pollution global warming nitrogen oxides how they will be affects the causes the pollution like that we discussed today we are going to discuss about next concept of air pollution what are the sources of air pollution we are discussing what you are discussing the main sources of air pollution the main sources of air pollution we are discussing the first sources are the main sources first one is transport sources what are the transport sources you know very well cars buses aeroplanes trucks trains cars buses aeroplanes trucks these all are what you call transport sources why because they will causes the they will releases the more amount of carbon dioxide and also stationary sources what are the stationary sources second one stationary sources one is transport sources second one is stationary sources what are those power plants incinerators oil refineries industrial factories okay industrial facilities and factories okay so stationary sources what are the sources for the main air pollution power plants incinerators oil refineries industrial facilities and factories and the area sources what agriculture wood stubble burning fire places these all are area sources natural sources what wind blown dust wild fires and what you call volcanoes wild fires and volcanoes so these all are what you called the main sources of air pollution you believe or not go and see near the thermal power plant stations how much smoke will be really release from the which one that plant so very dangerous and some factories releases a very poisonous gases into the atmosphere okay so like agriculture wood if you burn there also problem there also dangerous poisonous gases will be released and wind blown dust so when the blow dust is blown by the wind the dust contains so many dangerous particulates these all are causes the volcanoes you believe or not how much smoke will come from the volcanoes even wild fires forest fires are there or not how many lakhs of acres forest will be burned because of the forest fires so much what pollution will be caused so like this the main sources of air pollution what are those transport sources like cars buses aeroplanes trucks stationary resources power plants incinerators oil refineries factories factory industrial facilities and area sources agriculture wood stubble burning okay stubble what you call burning this is a very very dangerous uh, what you called problems in the uh, causing of air pollution free play fire places natural sources wind blown dust wild fires volcanoes these all are main reason for what Na the main sources of air pollution next effects of air pollution so what are the effects of air pollution effects of all organisms as they depend on the atmosphere for respiration see almost all organisms will depend on the which one atmosphere for respiration that atmosphere only polluted in the sense everyone will be suffer especially all organisms will be suffer when the atmosphere is damaged why because all organisms are depending on the atmosphere for respiration once resp atmosphere damaged all organisms respiration systems will be damaged so and uh, what are the problems causes of irritation in the throat nose lungs 
eyes, it causes breathing problem and aggressive existing health conditions such as emphysema and asthma. Mm -hmm. See now irritation in throat. So when you inhaled the poisonous gases, what will happen? In the atmosphere, too much pollution gas, polluted gas, pollution, pollution is there. And uh, unable to bear this, all the things. Then what kind of problems will be there in, the, in your body? Means, see now, when you inhale the polluted gases or you are facing daily the pollution, air pollution in a sense, you are get uh, problems like irritation in the throat, nose, irritation in the nose, irritation in the lungs, continuous cough. And uh, what is the another important one is irritation in the eyes and breathing problems, especially breathing problems and aggressive existing health conditions so health conditions will be completely disturbed and that leads to very dangerous problems such dangerous conditions called emphysema and asthma emphysema and asthma even our immune system also for example your contaminated air reduces the body defense mechanism immune system also why because uh, body capacities fight other infections in the respiratory system will be decreased. So when the inhale the dangerous gases, our respiratory system, immune system will be collapsed and we will face the difficult diseases. So defense mechanism, immunity also will be reduced because of air pollution decreases. Next, cardiovascular diseases. See, what is a cardiovascular diseases? You know very well, frequent exposure to polluted air risk in the cardiovascular diseases heart related problems so what will happen breathing air that is filled with a fine particulate matter so when you take the particulate matter air that will be going to accumulate in the arteries and the veins arteries are blocked in the sense what will happen you know very well when you uh, triggers the cardiovascular diseases leads to heart attack leads to heart attack so when you inhale particulate matter that will go to the lungs lungs to blood blood to accumulate in the arteries which supplies the blood to body parts so when the arteries are blocked with that particulate matter what will happen that will affect the uh, heart system and the cardiovascular diseases will come that leads to heart attack so dangerous problems are there because of your air pollution next people who exercise outside they will inhale more see if the polluted areas if you do exercise what will happen you will inhale more and more and polluted gases and that will affect the adverse problems so that's why the people instead of doing exercise in the polluted areas they should not what what they will do the walking or jogging walking or jogging is people who are living in the polluted areas or who are doing exercises for them dangerous so instead of doing exercise the people who are living they should have to what they have to do walk or jogging walking or jogging they should have to take next very dangerous problems what happened in the Bhopal, methyl isocyanate, gas leakage, MIC, methyl isocyanate in the Bhopal, so many members died. You believe or not, till today also some problems they are facing in the Bhopal because of methyl isocyanate. So, very dangerous problems are there. So, gas leaking also lethal. What do you call? Gas leaking also very dangerous. Gas leaking can be lethal or affect the quality of area in that affected area. So, quality of the air and everything will be disturbed when the gases are leaks. Next, carbon monoxide in the atmosphere interferes with the O2, transports the hemoglobin as a greater affinity. Okay, what happened? You know, carbon monoxide joins with the hemoglobin, right? Then what will happen? It affects the affinity for carbon monoxide at low concentration means headache. The carbon monoxide hemoglobin very tightly bind, okay? So, what will happen? There is a, oxygen will not transfer properly when the carbon monoxide joins with the hemoglobin. Then carbon monoxide hemoglobin joint oxygen not transferring in the sense, what happens? Little bit headache will come. If the carbon monoxide is more, the higher concentration is there in the blood, that leads to coma and death also. So, carbon monoxide disturbs oxygen transportation in our body because it joins the occupies the position of hemoglobin so like this dangerous problems are there in the society so this ma this air pollution controlling is everyone's responsibility otherwise that leads to death of the living organisms so next other notable effects of air pollution so some more air pollution uh, effects are there smoke 
smog is a type of air pollutant caused by tiny particles tiny particles in the air smog tiny particles in the air the word comes from the mixture of words smoke and fog so the smog means what tiny particles the word comes from mixture of the words smoke and fog smoke and fog together we call smoke plus fog smoke plus fog together we call smog very dangerous today smog generally refers to photochemical smog which is created when sunlight react with sun when this will be with photochemical reactions when the sunlight react with the very very important sunlight react with which one nitrogen oxides and volatile organic compounds so which one volatile organic compounds where it will be present in the fossil and fuels fossil fuels okay so then what will happen so when they react with these all the reactions which one sunlight nitrous oxides volatile organic compounds in the fossil and fuels that leads to what called i mean uh, power plants these reactions create the ground level ozone so ozone will become down ground level ozone and particulate matter so because of this smog what problems will become reducing the visibility smog can makes the breathing more difficult reducing visibility smog can make breathing ray more difficult asthma and even pets farm animals human health will be dangerously affect because of this smog smog also been known to cause corrosive damages so on the lay and the layers are there are not monuments taj mahal such kind of things this corrosive damage to buildings and vehicles also will be takes much that much dangerous the smog so smoke plus fog together le form smog smog is reaction of the photochemical reaction of sunlight nitrous oxide volatile organic compounds in fossil fuels ground level ozone and particulate matter so this all react with some forms the smog what are the effects first effects what reducing the visibility smog can make breathing more difficult to cause the asthma even pets who pets farm animals health also dangerously affected even corrosive damages also to buildings vehicles it will be takes place next peroxy acetyl nitrate very important need bit what is this one pan pan means what peroxy acetyl nitrate so this is secondary pollutant present in the photochemical smog they there is thermally very very important it is thermally unstable and decomposes into the peroxy ethanol thermally unstable and it de decomposes into the peroxy ethanol radicals and nitrogen so very dangerous problems will be come what are the problems come on listen carefully so nitrogen causes gas causes which one Di what do you call nitrogen dioxide so peroxy ethyl radicals and nitrogen oxide causes i irritation pan causes which one react with the nitrogen oxides and the eye irritation what is a pan peroxy nitrate is a secondary pollutant so photochemical it will present in the photochemical smog thermally unstable decompose into the peroxy ethanol radicals okay peroxy ethanol so these radicals and nitrogen oxide react and what will happen eye irritation will be irritation in the eye means we are unable to see properly things such a dangerous problems will be takes place next one you know very well the global warming the temperature of earth will be increased due to carbon dioxide actually the rays should have to come and go which one uv rays and temperature giving rays but unfortunately the greenhouse gases trapping the heat over heat from the solar system that is why the temperature of earth is increasing so greenhouse gases very important so increase in the concentration of green gas green house gases such as what are the very important bit very very important bit greenhouse gases carbon dioxide methane nitrous oxide and what is called the nitrous oxide chlorofluorocarbons with all ozone uh, causes so carbon dioxide methane nitrous oxide chlorofluorocarbons ozone causes greenhouse effect warming the earth warming the earth in a sense what will happen you know very well automatically the sea level rise so sea level will be rise 
sub matching of islands sea level will be rise sub matching of islands and sea shores of various parts of the world will be very dangerous problems so these all are what you call the effects of the this one global warming sea level will rise in the sense sub matching of islands sea shores and various parts of the world also will be disturbed because of global warming so next ozone depletion what is ozone you know very well ozone protect us from the uv rays which are coming from the sun it is acts as a blanket which covers us and protect us but unfortunately due to our chlorofluorocarbons what is the major source the cause of chlorofluorocarbons which this one damaging the ozone where which which sphere the ozone is there stratosphere stratosphere you know ionosphere troposphere stratosphere ozone is present in the stratosphere depletion of causes so what ozone holds ozone holds very dangerous for us what will happen the uv rays directly will come from the sun and it causes the skin cancer causes the skin cancer like that so many problems are we are facing because of this air pollution once again children listen very carefully so air pollution major main source is what transport sources like cars buses automobiles trucks releasing the dangerous pollutant gas and stationary sources power plants incinerators oil refineries factories okay like that is also causes by releasing the air gases causing the air pollution area sources agriculture wood when you burn stubble burning fireplaces also causing air pollution even natural sources like wind blown dust wild fires volcanoes you believe or not too much pollution will become from the natural sources so effects of air pollution what is especially we are depending on the atmosphere for respiration that atmosphere polluted in the sense we will get breathing problems like irritation in throat irritation in nose irritation in lungs irritation in the eyes even uh, what you call the severe conditions means emphysema asthma will be breathing problem so even uh, our immune system also will be decreased because of this pollution and the heart problems cardiovascular diseases leads to heart attack because particulate matter accumulate in the arteries of the blood vessels then blood supply will be disturbed then that leads to cardiovascular diseases which causes the heart attack so the people who are living in the polluted areas instead of doing exercise in the outer areas they should have to do walk and jog otherwise if exercise do more air they will take and again more problems will be faced so that's why they they are preferred for them walking and jogging is preferable next gas leaks also lethal very dangerous you know bhopal what happened you know methyl isocyanate released so many members started so next one carbon monoxide very dangerous so this gas is coming out from fossil and fuels unburnt fossil and fuels when this will disturbs the transportation of oxygen actually hemoglobin bind with the oxygen means no problem it transport oxygen but this carbon monoxide go and bind to the hemoglobin then disturb the oxygen transportation that is very dangerous for us that small quantity means no problem carboxy carbo mono carb, what you call hemoglobin carbon monoxide little amount combination is there headache will become if too much is there means that leads to coma and death also so carbon monoxide we have to read as well as early as possible because it leads to death and coma next another secondary other notable effects of air pollution smog tiny particles air okay especially uh, photo chemotic called what is smog first of all smoke plus fog together will form uh, smoke plus fog together will form smog in the smog means tiny particles in the air tiny particles in the air pollution caused by tiny particles smog is a air pollution because of tiny particles in the air the smog will be formed it's a photochemical reactions so what is a photochemical reaction in the light related so sunlight plus nitrous oxide plus volatile organic compounds which are present in the fossil sun fuels react each other and forms the smog so what will happen ground level ozone and particulate matter will be increased then reducing the visibility smog can make breathing more difficult causes asthma pets and farms and human beings animals health will be disturbed because of smog even corrosive damage to buildings and vehicles all buildings will lose their beauty because of this smog next pan peroxynitrate secondary pollutant it's a photochemical smog 
what you called it is present in the photochemical smoke it is thermally unstable and decomposes into peroxyethanol radicals and nitrogen dioxide okay decomposes into which one peroxy decomposes into peroxyethanol radicals and nitrogen oxides and causes eye irritation thermally unstable that's why it decomposes into peroxyethanol radicals and nitrous oxide and causes the major problem fan causes which one eye irritation eye irritation next global warming you know very well because of the greenhouse gases the temperature of greenhouse gases what carbon mono carbon dioxide ka methane nitrous oxide chlorofluorocarbon so so causes greenhouse effect because of this warming of earth will be takes place then sea level rise submerging of islands and seashores of various parts of the world will be takes place so overall water level will be increase on the earth so next uh, ozone depletion so holes will be formed due to depleted chlorofluorocarbons then uv rays directly will come to our body and reach our skin causes the skin cancer so like this a uh, different different problems we are facing because of this uh, air pollution